Hello, 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 and welcome back. Uh, I took a short break in between the last episode and this episode of recording, uh, and in that break I did... We moved these guys uh, in the end. We lost one guy. Not entirely sure where he's gone, but we've got the other four down here. They're all sleeping here for now. They've got their workstations. These pervs keep looking in. Because uh, we haven't finished, of course. I should probably prioritise that side now. I've darkened my island a little bit to hopefully spawn a zombie. So we can bait him into the hole. And then it should start working, as far as I'm aware. Uh, unsure, though, if, how, if that's what's going to happen. I'm just hoping a zombie will spawn here. Maybe a little... D There's a skeleton... And a creeper. Both things we don't want. So let's just deal with... Really? Every time... Dodge. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So then let's do a like a lap of the island, maybe. Just to see if we can uh, promote some better spawns. Because we need a zombert. Uh, there's a creeper again. Wait for it. Spitter. Uh, we need a zombie. This is the problem with doing this on an island, I've just realised. We don't actually... Oh, the cats. Oh, where is he? There he is. Chance for a trident. Here we go, boys. Come on. Ow. Ow. Chance for a trident. Ow. Because we do have a mending villager, remember? So as soon as we get one, we can just fix it up pretty quick. Lickety split. Uh, no zombie. Just two useless boys. Okay, we uh, will jump into the land quickly. Maybe darken a bit more. Because maybe it's still a little too bright for us to get what we need. Which is not, of course, the worst. It's a good testament to the fact that we lit this up pretty good initially. But now we need it dark. That's a lot more of the island darkened. So hopefully that'll lead to maybe the spawns. I heard one. There! Yes! Zomberto the Great, I have found you. Follow me, my friend, up these stairs. To your new home, Zomberto. Ow! Christ. Come on. Oop, don't fall, Ollie. And we're just going to bash him into this hole. We're not trying to kill him. Into the hole. So close. So close. So close. Damn it. Have we got thorns on? Fuck. We do. Come here, boy. Take two. Uh, a sign might be quite helpful. Do we have the wood for it? We don't. Okay. That's fine then. Ow, he did a lot more damage. Go! Go! Go, you bastard! Come on! It's up. Yes! Zomberto the Great! No! No! Bastard. Uh, have learnt something. This can't be like this. And you need to go down the hole. So, we can test the waterways. A little bit. Down the hole. Down the hole. Yeah, kind of. Cool. Uh, oh, he's going to have to die down there as well. Because otherwise he's going to try and punch the guy while he... Well, this this is a good test, actually. I mean, it works. It's a little loud, obviously. But it works. 
And then, there we go, see it works. So we just need to now get another zombie. We need another name tag. Um, I think we have another spare, right? Yeah. Damn it. Zom. <laughs> Zomberto. Butter. Different one. The great. Great. Greatest. Zomberto the greatest. We tried once. We've got to try again. No, the zombie, please. Not you. Zombie. We need a zombie spawn. Hello. Zombie. Zombie baby. Where are you? No. No me gusta to the... These boys. No. And you are not correct either. Die. We need a zombie to take up there. But it worked, admittedly. It did work. We just need a zombie to spawn and we need to punch him in that hole again. Let's do this. Come on, zombie. Oh, we're gonna need our food on the hotbar as well. Because they, they started to beat me up pretty good, to be fair. Uh, that's becoming morning. It's becoming daytime. We did it as well. Oh, that's really annoying. Let's swim out for a second. Give everything room to spawn. And then come back in. Oh, come on. Did I see a creeper? I don't want a creeper. Oh, come on. It's becoming daytime. Damn it. We don't want to darken uh, too much of our island. Because we do need it to eventually then relight up without dying. So let's just like try and darken a little bit more for the next night, I guess. Oh, that was so close, but it does work. So basically, the premise is then, once he's in the hole up here, which I think I can make a bit easier to get him, I just needed um, a sign. Because I can get him to, I think, just walk over. So he'll come up here with me. He'll come over here. And then, oh, where's the hole again? There it is. And then I just want sign there. And I think then he should just walk in himself. And then that should be good. Well, uh, I'll come back when it's night time again. Okay, we're back and it's just about night time. So, once again, we're going to just get in the boat. Glide around a little bit. Hope for as long. I even shut off the portal because I know it generates light. Just to, in hopes of getting a... A little zombert to spawn for us somewhere around here so that then we can um, drag him up and it look there too beautiful we don't need any more spawns uh, okay so what we need to do we're gonna drag them both up and then we're gonna kill one up here and let the other one fall into there we go, that's fine. That is fine. And then we just need to punch this one into the hole. Almost. Damn it. There we go. See, and then he spawns. Then what we do is we name tag this guy. Break this. Close that, and I just, I do just want to, is this going to be, no, that's not what I want. Is this going to be, yeah, that's, that's what I want. And then we're going to put that there. 
And then I think that helps somehow. Then he spawns here, which of course is not right. Oh no, this is the par damaged one. So then, oh yeah, we've got a real issue here. Okay, well, that's going to be an issue. We basically can't come down till morning now. Uh, not a big deal though. Um, so then, what we need to do is we need to basically seal up this. Um, we need to place the water down. Oh, we've lost a water bucket somehow. Okay, that's fine. Because what I can do is I can just place one here, place one here, do one, two, one, two, and then just like do that real quick. So that's still an infinite water source. Why? Oh, is it? What if I just do this completely? It's because these are waterlogged now. Damn it. Okay, there we go. So, we come back, we do this real quick. We... Oh no. What we need is now down there. These are the main guys we can't let get funky with us. Okay. Right. So then we come up here. We plug this. We've got our one, two, three. Really? Didn't I just fill this? Okay, it's not a biggie. We go back up. It's fine. We do need to light up in the morning though, but for now, we're just going to work on making sure that this is right. Everyone's scared in there, right? Yeah, okay. Then we just do one here, one here, one here, one here, and then that puts all of the water to... Oh. It shouldn't be doing that. Wait. I just do this for a second. No, it shouldn't be flowing that much. This one did it right. Okay. Um, not a big deal, just a bit annoying. Because uh, we've just got to get some signs to fix that, basically. So I'm just going to tear down that. Do that. Do that. Gives us the four signs we'll need to be able to stop this problem. Which is no issue, it's just a bit annoying. A bit annoying, that's all. There we go. Nothing wrong with doing this anyway. There's a good precaution. Um, and then we go up here. Oh, but look. I can smell burning. It's not good. It's not a good sign. What if I do it here? Yeah, they shouldn't be going to the middle though. No. They're they're making a pile up in the middle and they shouldn't be. What if I what if I did this? Then does it Where does this go, for example? To here. Yeah, we don't want that. We want consistent water flow. Uh, currently they get to here, no problem. Oh, I've just realised why. Because this had this extra block here. Oh, yeah. Because I haven't centred it properly. That's why this side worked. I can really smell burning. What's happening in my flat? It doesn't smell good. Um, just trying to think how we how we fix this.
Um, unsure. Oh, now I've run out of water, yeah. Which I don't want this dead point here. I think if I did all of this right, and then I had one more bucket of water, let's just go down and get one. This burning smell, very concerning. Okay. We will keep an eye on what we're doing here. Um, also, what might not be the worst idea is to start burning these guys. Just so we can work out if they're going to continue to spawn. Still not where it needs to be. What about if it was here? No, see again, like... We just have dead spots. That is fine, and that takes us to literally here. Oh, that's why there's no more spawning. Because you've spawned in a dumb spot. Just one second. While I just fix that, real quick, one second, and problem fixed. Hmm. What if we remove this and put that there? That looked promising. Let me put that there. Hmm. Because some of them might spawn and then just come to here and then it stops working, basically, is the problem. See, look, exactly like that. If they do this, we have a problem. Because they need to do this. This. Yep. Glide. Ooh. Hmm. What if I just remove this completely as an idea? And I do that. Okay. It seems to be working, obviously, like the spawning's happening. I'm just not happy with... Oh, God. Really? You find the, like, one spot of shade. Idiots. Um, we do actually need to go and light up the island. Let's do that real quick. Just so we don't get any... Uh, Spawns in the end. Learn your place, you should be friendly. He was trying to be rude to me. This will do roughly. It's a much rougher version of lighting up the island than I did last time, but I just want to make sure that we lower the dumb spawns of stuff around us while we work here. See again. Stuck. Right. Yeah, cool. Um, wait, how have I got five? Oh, because the lava bucket. Yeah, 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 yeah. So currently we go like this. Okay. and we come to here. What I could do is... Oh, I'm making scary jumps there. 
Yes, you look, this guy is right here. Uh, we can't dip in anymore is the problem. So I kind of need them to make this bit of the journey themselves right now, which is a bit annoying. Because if we could dip down, we'd be fine. Um, maybe... Maybe we widen this just like they did in the video. If, for example, I widened this, right, to a 3x3, three three, just like it wants me to do, and I did this, yeah, and then I put the bucket here, it's still going to have the dead zone in the middle. I don't know if they actually address this in the video or not. Because, yeah, for sure, like, it goes now. But we've got this whole dead zone in the middle. And, like, even doing that doesn't really fix it. What if I move it forwards one? Yeah, that kind of fixes it, but then that makes more dead zones still. Um, now he's up there. Idiot, get down. Get down. Don't go into the... I need you to go down into the right direction. Because if you go down into the water... but Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And then just, like, give you a little boop. Give you a little... Little nudgems. Real quick. Uh, you need to go to death. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And then... That wall, obviously. But... Then you just go, hello? Hello, what are you? Idiot. Okay, right. This is really tough to work out. Um, what if I did this? Wait. What if we did it like this? Wait. there. That really helped, I think. Yes! This works. Because look, there's not a single dead zone now. Perfect. Don't flush me down, though. That's a very bad idea. So then it's as simple as taking this now, slabbing here. We need to basically stop them from spawning up on the edges now, basically, is what we're trying to do. Uh, we need more slabs no worries what we'll do is we'll just make slabs out of this and we'll replace these ones on the edge which I'll call now working slabs and then they should only spawn inside the zone and then go straight to the drop down if I'm correct. Yeah, here we go. Wait, what? Why have you stopped? Oh, you've stopped, like, right there. For some reason. It's not wonderful. Wonderful. 
Oh god, we need a... Yeah, okay. I just need to make a, a quick way out of here. I mean, it works now. Right. As far as I'm aware, this is a success. So far, we've gotten drops. I do need to, of course, fill in all of this now. But that's another one that's dropped down. And they come down into here. And they stand here in pain for a bit. And that's 35 iron. There you go. We've only bloody gone and done it. And then what we can do is we can come over here, we can grab the rest of our iron. Just for the sake of having more cool looking iron. There we go. We'll put all of that in there. We can relight this again. Because we don't need to worry about zombies being an issue anymore. We in fact want less spawns on this island now. And technically that's that's project done. We could do with probably a ladder up just to every so often make sure everything's ticking along. So let's make a quick little ladder up. Um, this should probably do for the wood. Uh, just because I like to micromanage a little bit, but it is doing it again. Like, there's another without me really having to intervene anymore. Which is, I mean, a, a blessing beyond belief. Uh, I just want to make sure that I can, you know, just, just be there just in case. And because it's got an open roof, it shouldn't be the worst for us just to be able to pop up every so often, check that everything's okay. What we can even do, oh, I've already put one torch over here. We can put another just here. And this is our only issue right now. Is when they do that. Because for some reason. They're not. Um, they're not going where they should be here. Do they eventually just unblock themselves? Is that going to be a thing that happens eventually? Or are you just going to sit there? Oh no, here we go. Slowly being moved, and then he goes in anyway. That's not the worst. I can live with that. I can live with that. It's minor inefficiency, but I mean, not the worst. We can light it up just a little bit, so we don't um, don't waste our time with any other spawns or anything bad happening. And you know what? There you go. Fully working so far. No issues, and we've got a lot of iron. Let's just put that there for now. Let's do that so they all go there. And then the rest of this can just be for pure iron. Look at that. We made an iron farm, people. Resources are coming in now. We can sleep just to make sure that everything's all right. I think I see a, a burning thing. Why did I see a burning thing? That seemed bad, right? Let's just... Everyone alright in here? I can't see the other guy. There he is, yeah. I don't know whether they're actually ever going to get the chance to sleep with the way it's working. Because if they don't sleep, as I said, they won't, um, they just need to jump in their beds for a second. And that's why I saw the thing of like, put soul sand underneath. But maybe that's a fix we're going to have to look into making because there'd be no more spawns. You see. Uh, let's just like walk away for a second. Da -da -da -da. And then walk back, maybe there's been a spawn and he's just stuck. No, this might be an issue. 
Because if they're not sleeping, they're going to have a problem. Um... So some people say they use pistons, which, I mean, we could just, like, pop out a, a day-night sensor, put some sticky pistons on, just to, like, at night time, power the pistons, raise the shield so they can't see him, and then drop it back down again if need be. Which might be the one idea. Because it's only the four blocks around there that I'd need to raise. Yeah, it might be an idea, but it's quite a long-winded one now, isn't it? To do. Hmm. Yeah. Because there's no more spawns here now, look. We've stopped producing iron golems because they can't sleep. Because they need that chance to um, go into bed, and he's just sat there. Um, if we lowered him... Like, if we... Ooh, this might be, like, an idea. If we brought him one down, right? And we put the soul sand one down... Also... He would then jump up and down, and maybe that would be better than what he currently is doing. So let's just get another oh, another soul sand, which will be in our nether chest. Sorry, wait. Our nether chest over here. Another soul sand. Let's do this. Let's get another soul sand. Let's put that there. Then let's pop up. Uh, I think he's about here. So we're just gonna dig out just so that we so we have somewhere to work in real quick. Oh, don't want to fall in with him. Yeah, that's where he is. Oh, Christ. Um, sorry. You idiot. That's my bad. So he's now there, right? Damn it, come on, stop this. Okay, and then I just want to come here quickly. Put that there. So now he's jumping up and down. Maybe maybe one more down because he's still a little above maybe one more down let's, let's give it a go wait just so that he like I just need them to like him to pop his head up just a smidge and then um see him come up? Oh, wait. I think enough, you know? I think this actually kind of works. We just need to wait for night again um, to be able to see if this works, basically. Because they need a chance to jump in bed. Oh, yeah, okay, that's cool. 
And then once they've jumped in bed, they will, um, if it works, then they'll be able to start spawning again. So we kind of need to just like, look, cause they're scared sometimes, but not all the time. So I think this, this works. Yeah. This might actually work in a dumb way. And we did did it without cutting. Um, where's the sun? Because I want to basically now wait till night time. So it's almost there. So we'll wait till night time for that. Hopefully then that will clear. And then um, we'll be able to basically say, hey, we did it. If not, we've got some more work to do. But I think it looked pretty good. From what I saw, it kind of looks like they get a, a moment of peace every so often. Like, this one's not scared right now. Now he's scared again. Chill. Scared. Because he, like, he bobs up and down. So it's only when, like, they see him, I think, that, that it's a danger. Right? I think that's how that works. If so, if we start getting spawns again, we can cross this off. We just need to um, hope that, that that does happen. Come on. So we've got to wait for the, the night again. We can... We should go and check on the other guys, to be fair. See how they've um, done with the migrating over. So let's, let's take all of this just to trade with them. For the sake of, like, I guess making them happy while they're over there, give them some trades. Do trades make them happy? Do they live for just trading? It's a sad life, but it may be true. Let's see. Let's go jump over. I think we did that, though, you know? I kind of feel like that, that was a, a fix that we never even saw. Hello! We just, like obliterating our shoes but it's doing nothing to them oh there's an iron golem down here and a baby uh he's there he's there yeah i mean yeah sure everyone's down there happy can't complain we got the one two three Ooh. One, two, three, four, there we go. And then him, yeah. Because we lost one on the way down, remember? There was a... I don't know where he went. I looked everywhere. Like, he's not down here. He must have died to something. I found a slime ball down here at one point. So maybe a slime spawned and killed him? Question mark? I don't know. If this is a slime chunk as well, that's quite nice. We can make a little slime farm. But we need to finish this. Like, this is just, like, abysmal. The fact that all that's all we've got. Um, but, I mean, the, the main thing right now is just... <gasps> not that way, not that way. To get the resources. So, the nights, the sun's going down. So, we need to basically go and position ourselves so that we can see them be able to jump into bed. Because if they can jump into bed for even a second, this will turn back on. <gasps> they have. Are they going to get scared now? Or are they just going to sleep through the night? Arguably, I'm not mad if, for example, because they're all in bed right now, right? So if, if I go and sleep now, will that then allow them to start spawning again? If so, I'm not mad that, like, at night time we don't get rates because they're scared again. I saw them all get a bit scared and start hurrying around yes okay so our weird plan worked this is very annoying that it's slightly not strong enough maybe if we move the water buckets wait ow christ uh, if we just take two of these I know it's risky messing with this, considering it was 
so finicky to get right in the first place. But, I mean, we're getting spawned, so I'm happy. I just want to see if maybe... I mean, that already set them off, but... Uh, no, I don't think that works. Needs to be there. So that, yeah, everyone goes equally. I mean, I'm not mad. Look, we got, we've got the spawns happening again. So we should be getting iron in once more. I mean, I can try, I can try some stuff for sure. But... 53, lovely. It's going up slowly. They keep getting scared every so often, which then spawns another boy. He then goes straight down. Yes, he gets stuck there every time, and that's going to slow our rates down. I'm not mad at the nighttime thing, but I am going to be mad at not being able to get the rates that I want. Yeah, that's gonna feel very annoying. What if I put a water bucket in the corner as here as well? Yeah, and then I put one over here. Oh god. Not there. There. Does create a dead spot in the centre. Oh god, I think we've created an infinite water source in the centre. Or just a... Uh, wait. Oh god, wait, what? Okay, there we go. I just think there was a bit... There's been a bit of a... There we go. Okay. Almost there. Oh, if that was one more block, that would be perfect. Um, just want to push him down for a second. What is... Oh, no, no, no. That's going to be bad. But... I reckon we can, if we, if we just move these signs one second. Oh, we didn't have inventory room. If we move these signs to here. We can then just do this, which means they'll come to here, and then they'll... Yeah, this is way better. I just need to go get another bucket of lava. Not the worst thing in the world to have to go and run and get real quick. Oh yeah, junk will just, like, we need a couple line, one line for just junk in case things come down by accident um, and then look, he's there already you um, oh, a nautilus shell gotcha we need to just go and get a piece of lava real quick and then this should be completely working I think oh look at this, it's only taken us about an hour, two episodes to get this working but I think all goes to plan. We have a completely functional and I would imagine quite efficient iron farm because they go pretty quick from there to the kill chamber and the kill chamber is a little bit away from like the actual um, water. Yeah, it should be pretty decent. Uh, let's just... Is it this block? Yeah, it is that block. There we go. So now... Uh, 
Yeah, we need to come over here. So he's dead. And then another one should spawn in just like a hot second. And then we should get some more iron. Where did we put our Nautilus shells initially? Did we put them just on the dock? That would be a very irresponsible place to... Yep, we did. Cool. Apparently they're not that precious to me, even though I've got like two. And we need many more. Um, so now they should just keep spawning, right? Because these guys will get a second to go to sleep every night. And yeah. And the water flow is perfect. Because they don't get stuck anywhere. Everything's just down. Except they get maybe stuck here. But maybe we don't need this anymore. Let's just see one second. If we put this here... There, that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes across. No, 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 we do need this. Okay, wait, we need all these items. Because, yeah, look, no, 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 we, do, we need... Oh, no, hello. Hello, kind sir. Off you go down. Yeah, you just need to... Yeah, that looks good. Maybe if we get just... One more... Water bucket now. Man, this water system is just like such a messy thing to do, isn't it? I didn't think this would be the most difficult part of this bloody iron project. But that looks good now. Yes. Success. This just can't be... Oh, this just has to be one slab. There we go. Water be finicky. But now, as far as I'm aware, anywhere they go, they should now go... Yeah, straight down. Which is good. I think this works now. Yep, okay. Look at that speed. Up. I mean, look at that almost speed. Whee! He wants to punch me. See. Oh, Ooh, that was like crest. See ya. Yeah, I mean, it's it's maybe not the most efficient one. We can make a new one later, but for now, it gets us iron. So, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure of iron gathering. Because uh, now we can sell iron to the villager, the toolsmith. Oh, that's a bliss. Because harvesting iron just to bloody sell is not a thrilling idea. Uh, we can tear all of this down as well. Just to make sure that this is completely as is. There we go. And now, iron farm. Da da da. Da. Done. Cool. So thank you very much for staying around and being here and loving my face, you wonderful people. Uh, yes, more iron, tasty, tasty iron. And then what we can do is we can just go, oh, iron, no problem, I'll just take, uh, die a bit quicker, thank you. I'll just take this half stack, because why not, and I'm just going to sell this, because I'm a, a frivolous man now and we can just go swimmy swimmy swim and that's our food sorted realistically because we only need we use emeralds for food and we can just like we can even blitz it down here now bam safe come in here we just go up to our toolsmith who is wait no are there dead guys 
this is not so good. Ha Hello? What's bad is one of them is our farmer, I think, that's dead. No, farmer's alive. It's our book boy. Okay, they're not dead. They're just down here. Cool. You guys need to go to bed, guys. You worried me sick. Yeah, you need to come to bed. Uh, to bed. Yeah, just go willingly. Okay, I'm just going to take you over here. So that you kind of know where your bed is, right? You know where that is. You sleep up there. And then... Go to your bed. You're not going to go in there? Really? There you go. No? Wait, what? Why are you getting in? There you go. Beautiful. And then we just drag you on over. And then I think we've probably got to block off that wall. Yeah, see, he's going up again. I just don't want them getting out because there's another slime ball there. And if they're going to start to wander freely and there's slimes about, we're just going to lose villagers. Which I don't want. So... Uh, but yeah, sorry, I got completely distracted again, haven't I? <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching, you fabulous, fabulous people, and I will see you in the next episode.